Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be looking at the new system from FRSky. This is the Twin Light Pro RF module and one of the associated receivers. This is the Twin GR6 uh, glider receiver with a Vario built in. So the Twin module comes in a box like that. Twin Light Pro concept is full-time active redundancy on the 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, similar to the tandem concept, which is 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz, always active. This is uh, 2.4 gigahertz normal and 2.4 gigahertz long range, both active at the same time. The benefits of uh, having it all 2.4 gigahertz is that you can have more people flying at the same time. Uh, you can have uh, less bandwidth with 900 megahertz, so, but a much wider bandwidth and more space uh, at 2.4 gigahertz. Also with 2.4 gigahertz you get smaller antennas as well. Uh, this one only has two small whisker antennas. Apparently uh, this is going to be very good for discus launch glider pilots who are having uh, interference problems uh, and uh, they don't really like the tandem setup because of the bigger second 900 megahertz antenna. This is sort of two little whisker antennas. Another benefit of the Twinlight Pro module is that it supports ACC ST D16, access twin mode, which is the two 2.4 gigahertz modules, and it is ELRS compatible, uh, which means that you can bind to ELRS receivers. So let's have a quick look at the website and see what the technical gloss is all about. Uh, let's just read Twinlight Pro is a powerful RF module which enables ethos capable radios to bind to the twin series receivers and support the twin protocol dual 2.4 gigahertz frequency simultaneously on the same receiver. It's a light size module so it only fits uh, ethos radios with the light style RF bay. Oh yeah, it's ELRS 2.4 gig mode. Twinlight Pro module offers resilient RF power options up to 500 milliwatts. Features long, long range control, tens of kilometers, and low latency, supporting full telemetry. And downloads page, we've got the manual and the firmware, and it is first release firmware, very early days for this module. LED state, ACCST D16, the uh, blue LED is on, on the back of the module. Access, the green is on. ELRS, the green and blue are on. And for the twin mode, it's uh, red, green and blue on. And then there's binding information here as well, especially for ELRS. The Twinlight Pro module is only compatible with Express LRS 2.3, I believe. That's what FRSky say. I've actually bound it to a receiver on 2.5.1, but it's certainly not up to the latest 3.1.1. And I don't think FRSky are going to continue any development uh, of the radio compatibility with Express LRS. It's just an oddity at the moment that um, they've, they've uh, worked out how to uh, make it compatible with 2.3, and uh, that'll be it, I think. Uh, so you wouldn't go out and buy this module as a, as a specific Express LRS module. Here's the module comes in a box like this with two antennas. What are they? Uh, RPSMA, I think they are. Light size. Uh, there's the LED there and the connection pins down there. Fits in the light RF bay. Bit of a tight fit. Uh, once we choose the uh, external module, it lights up and uh, looks like I've got it bound to a uh, ELRS receiver at the moment but uh, we'll go through all of that in a little while. There are two twin mode compatible receivers at the moment. This is the GR6, the twin GR6 with onboard variometer and that comes with the QR code card, a couple of cables, one you can wire up yourself and one that is already terminated. Uh, which fits into the little plug there. Five channels there, one, two, three, four, five, and number six on the back. To use the Twinlight Pro module, we set up a model. Go to model, go to RF system. Turn off the internal module and select the external module, Twinlight Pro, and then choose which protocol you want to bind to. 
you can choose the output power there up to 500 we'll just leave it at 10 milliwatts at the moment you can choose 16 channel 24 channel 8 channel modes we will register so register. click register hold down the button plug in power and it's found the uh, twin GR8 there register registration okay so that's good cycle the power now we can bind it the usual uh, the usual access style binding click bind waiting for receiver power up the receiver discovers it and there we go that's good and we can go to telemetry turn on discover new sensors and we should get the uh, vario uh, telemetry as well as all the receiver telemetry so let's have a look at the ELRS version now. Let's choose ELRS. Fire up the receiver. Now this doesn't have a passphrase on it, so you need to connect and reconnect three times quickly to put it into bind mode. And you get that double fat flashing sequence there. Hit configure, which is sort of like the ELRS Lua script, I guess. Click bind. And we've got the solid blue light, so we are bound. And to test that, let's plug in a servo. Nice little exact servo here. Which is working perfectly well. Uh, as you can see, these uh, exact servos are very configurable. I've turned this one into a 180 degree, and that's just a choice in the device setup. So very nice. I decided to have a sneaky look inside, uh, only three screws to open up the module and you can see we've got a very nice reasonably thick aluminium casing, good for heat dissipation. And uh, if we move over to, that's even closer, you can see the big copper pad there for a bit more uh, heat dissipation. And uh, the business side, if we go in closer, you can see the uh, and the two chips on the right, the 2436L are 2.4 gigahertz modules, RF modules. And the chips on the left, uh, which, what are they, the mod modulation chips or something like that, they've been disguised, so we can't see. They've had the, <laughs> that square ground out of the top to keep them secret. But anyway, it's an interesting new system, a uh, new protocol from FRSky, seemingly targeted at high-end gliders I suppose and maybe club flying situations where there are a lot of other pilots around uh, very interesting to test it out I would need a noisy environment and and go long range I think which uh, I, I have neither of those possibilities here so I really can't demonstrate those uh, aspects of it but I can certainly take it for a fly but uh, that'll do for this video thanks for watching